Hello and welcome. I'm Leonardo Doffo, uh, Product Marketing Manager here in uh, uh, Odison, Italy. Uh, today I have the big opportunity to be here with uh, Mr. Ken Ward, Technical Marketing for uh, United States. So Ken, thanks for uh, joining us and I would like to uh, speak a little bit about this new line, the brand new line of speakers, uh, Odison Voce 2, that we recently announced at the Knowledge Fest Las Vegas. Uh, Ken, up to you. Well, I would love to talk about these speakers. So we have a few speakers to talk about. And the first one that I'm going to show you is the 6P woofer for the car door. And if you compare this speaker to the Voce One, you can see that the surround is different. The Voce One surround had a triple wave accordion surround, but the Voce Two has a half roll with a compound shape to it. What you cannot see is the reason for this. And so we wanted to bring the technology from our flagship line of Thesis speakers down to a different point in the market that was easier to purchase, but also easier to install. So this right. woofer has a different motor design that it inherited from Thesis. And that gave us 63% more excursion without any penalty for mounting depth or diameter. So we can put this in a car and get much better bass and much better mid bass from the 6P woofer. That's why we needed to have this new surround to accommodate the excursion of the cone. So now, that's a lot of power for uh, this component. It's a yeah. very powerful speaker. Now you can also see a new connector on the back of the speaker. And this is instead of the traditional tabs that you either have to slide a connector mm -hmm. on or you have to solder to, we have an OEM style connector in the box. So you can connect that to your speaker wire, plug in the speaker, and now it is disconnected and reconnected like an OEM speaker, and this just never comes apart accidentally. It is very reliable. I so get it. here's the 6P woofer. Now we will look at the 3.0 mid-range. This is almost 20% thinner than the previous 3.0 mid-range, but it has similar power handling, it has similar uh, frequency response and low frequency extension. The One of the ways we did that is we made the voice coil 30% larger in diameter mm -hmm. so that we didn't have to make it deeper. This has a smaller OEM connector right here. Same thing, this connects to uh, the pigtail adapter in the box. That looks super shallow, by the way, yes? That was the goal. Super slim. We yes. really wanted it to fit into every dash or every door. Now, there is also a 1.1 tweeter. This is the same size dome as the Voce 1 tweeter, but this tweeter will play both lower into the mid-range and higher into the treble. This tweeter can play up to 40,000 hertz, which is the requirement from the Japan Audio Society for a high resolution tweeter. So this speaker is certified high resolution, but it also plays so low that we can use a very low crossover point and that makes the mid-range in a car door installation much warmer, which Audison is known for. Okay, um, so these three components, how they are available in the market? That is a great question. So the first thing I will explain is that the 6P woofer and the 1.1 tweeter are available in a two-way active kit. So you will get two tweeters, two woofers, but you will not get any passive crossover in the active kit. You will either be using the active crossover filter in your amplifier or in a DSP or, or DSP amplifier. Okay. There will also be a passive kit that will include this beautiful and very advanced passive crossover filter module. And there are two ways that this module can work. It has several adjustments inside, and we designed this to work in a car door. So okay. in a car door, a six and a half inch woofer is rolling off at the top end, and this crossover takes advantage of that and uses that roll off. However, that doesn't happen in a display board in a store. So we have a different mode that you can use that will tailor the sound for the display board so that it is, it is appropriate in either installation. You just have to look at the documentation to know <laughs> which course. is which. So this means that they can get the best performances both off axis uh, and on a, let's say, vertical installation when you are with a display. That is correct. Well, that sounds amazing, uh, especially for our dealer shops. Okay, thank you. Um, okay, I see another component here. 
which is actually the nicest looking of the line. Tell me something about this. This is the 6.5X coaxial, which I expect will be thought of by many as the finest coaxial for car audio in the world. And it uses a woofer that is very similar to the P woofer with many of the elements of the P, but it uses a 1.0 tweeter, slightly smaller than the tweeter I showed you earlier. And this is also certified as high resolution by the Japan Audio Society. And it has two OEM connectors for the woofer and for the tweeter. So you can install this in an active situation as if it was a component set, or you can use a passive crossover module like this that comes in the kit in order to set it up as a full range in the door. Okay, that's a benefit that I see for uh, the several scenarios for the installation of these speakers. Okay, thank you. Um, so, okay, this sounds like an amazing line, but what else we can say about the, you know, the ease of installation? You were mentioning that they are easier to install compared to the next line. So that's a great question. We talked about the mid-range being shallower. We talked about the woofer not having an installation penalty. What I'm going to talk about now is something that affects both the 1.1 tweeter and also the 1.0 tweeter, which I'm going to explain in just a moment. This is the grill that comes with the tweeter. And we can take this off and we can substitute a different grill, which also comes in the tweeter. Oh. We can also substitute different rings. We have a surface mount, we have a flush mount, we have a recess mount, we have two different kinds of OEM uh, insert adapters. Mm -hmm. So with both the 1.1 or the 1.0 tweeter, you will be able to install it into the proper location with the minimal amount of work and we have had this in other models in the Audison line, and this is the first time that the any install faceplate kit has been included in a Voce product. There is anything else uh, in addition to the separate components? There is one thing I want to mention that is going to be available right away. The slightly slimmer woofer, the S-series woofer, has a slightly lower power handling rating and a slightly lower base extension, and it is a little easier to fit into some of the tighter spots. And it is going to be available in a kit with the 1.0 tweeter that I mentioned earlier. That's the only way to get the 1.0 tweeter at launch is with this kit. And then if you want to run it in a passive crossover mode, there are two passive crossover modules for each side in the kit. And this, these speakers will all be available right away, but there will be more speakers coming before the end of the year. We will be adding subwoofers, we will be adding a 100 millimeter mid-range and a 100 millimeter coaxial similar to the one we have here. So, the line is starting off with several amazing speakers, but it is only going to get better. So these are available now? These are available any day, depending on where you are in the world. I believe <laughs> okay. in my home in the United States, they will be available any minute. That's good to know. Well, sounds amazing. Um, again, thank you for coming here and look forward to talk a little bit more about these uh, new coming components for the line. Thank you. Thank you.